Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and add a couple more fields for the candidate objects. So right now, if you click on this candidate, you don't see anything. So the reason is because while we were creating a candidate, we also added a field which is an auto number, the candidate ID if you remember. That's because what happens is if you go ahead and add the candidate object, it will automatically increase the ID. Now before that, let's go ahead and add more fields for the candidate. So I wanted to add the candidate first name. I want to capture the first name of the candidate, the last name. So I'll make it as the text field and click next here. First name, the length is 18 you can give whatever the length of the name can be and click next if you have a long name so that's the length the visible to everyone you need to add more fields so we'll make it save and new next last name that'll again be text so I'll add last name and the length 15 Click next, visible to everyone next and click save and new. I have more feet. Now I want to capture the candidate phone number. If I want to talk to him, I should have the phone number. So I get the phone field. There is a data type called phone and you select the phone and the name I wanted to put it as the phone or you can say mobile slash mobile and then next make it visible next and then save and new I wanted to store the candidates email address so there is a field for the email that's called candidate email click next here and this is my email visible to all and next the next is save and new. I want to store these address so I can go ahead and create a field for the text and name it as address field. So I'll go ahead and create address and length I can be 17 or whatever and then click next and visible next. save and new and this I also want to capture the years of experience so that's a number like how many years that candidate has experience so uh, we can call it as the name of the column and the field label is going to be years of experience length will be two because maximum he can have in double digits the experience so we'll call it as this and next visible and save and new I also wanted to see if this candidate is currently employed or not. So that can be a checkbox. This is the last field that we're going to create for the candidate object. And currently employed. You can say if you want a default value of checked or unchecked. Means do you want it to be clicked or not. So you can say default value I want it to be checked. Click next and visible to everyone. Next and save. So now if you go back under the candidate object and if you wanted to add more records means you wanted to create candidate records. So now next thing that you can do is you can have you can go ahead and create and you go ahead and save it. So this is the first record that I have created. Now you see this something called as candidate ID. So this is the one that we created when we were creating this object. So this is the auto number. So if you go ahead and create the next candidate record, this number will increment by one. So if I say, let's say I create another one and I name it as, and I save it, and then this number is gonna be incremented. So this is gonna be an auto number. So, so far we have created two objects, positions and the candidates. In upcoming video tutorials, we'll go ahead and talk about page layouts and validations rules. 
Till then, stay tuned and thank you.